Extension and intended intersection object snaps. Let's go down to our object snap and right click and we can see that well, we have our intersection uh, set up here. We want to go to our extension and so I'm going to turn on my extension here. I'm going to turn off the intersection. Just go with extension. Now what we like to do is we like to draw a line that is oh let's go eight tenths of a unit away from this uh, rectangle. So we want to match the length of this rectangle but we want it to be eight tenths of a way. So what we want to do is we want to start the line command. Then with the extension command we need to acquire a point. An acquired point is to get it we have to hover over the point. And so notice I hover over it I acquire the point, then I drag my mouse down, and I have this extension path uh, that shows up. Now I can start my line 0.8 away and I can enter. You'll notice my line is down here, and now I can come up and I can acquire this corner, and I hover over it. And I get a little green plus there. It's a little hard to see, but then I drag it down and I get this extension line. Oop, I get this extension line. And when I get zero degrees, I can hit enter. And now I'm done with my line command and I can hit enter. And let me zoom out. Now this line is exactly the length of this line and it's eight tenths of an uh, inch away from that from that rectangle. I'll erase that. I'm going to do that one more time just to make sure. So we have our extension object snap on. We're going to go and hover over to acquire a point. We get the little X when we acquire it. We drag it downwards. I want to go 8 tenths away. I'll type in point 8. I hit enter. I'm going to drag it sideways but I, I want to go the length of this line. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to hover over this lower corner and I get that green plus sign. When I get it, I can drag it down. I get that extension path. The extension path is a green dotted line. When I get to zero degrees, I can just pick. And now I can hit enter the finish the line command. Now, let's try another thing that the extension can do, which is extended intersection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line and enter and I'm going to draw an arc and now the trick with this is these two have to intersect if I could project those two um, they have to intersect okay so I have to make sure that they're going to intersect at some point All right. And uh, let me just manipulate them here. There we go. That should they should intersect. All right. Now, what I want to do is draw a circle, and I'm going to hover over one of the uh, ob objects, which is the line. And now I get the plus sign, and I can drag it out, and I get the the extension path. Now I'm going to come down and hover over the end of the arc. I get the plus sign. I'm going to drag it out. And then the two extension paths meet. I can click. And now the center of that circle is at where those two lines extended. So I'll do that one more time. I'm going to choose the circle command. I'm going to hover over the end of the line. Once I get the X, I can drag out and see my extension path. I'll come down, I'll hover over the other arc. I get the X, I can drag it up. The two extension paths meet, and X is formed. That is my uh, extended intersection. And then I can draw my circle with my center of my circle at that extended intersection. So these are the extension and the extended intersection object snaps.